let's talk about the timing chain tensioner so what you're looking at is the <clears throat> the covering plate that covers where the timing chain tensioner goes so you'll see that there's three bolts in there and you remove them they'll be a little bit difficult just because it already has the Honda engine sealant that sometimes slips into the screws they're easy to crack loose but as you're screwing them out by hand they might just be a little tough the first few turns so let's take a look at what the tensioner looks like here's a timing chain tensioner this button what looks like a large metal button it pushes out and creates tension onto the timing chain it wears out over time and it starts to get a little bit noisy engine not too much but um, you'll notice a difference when you replace it I'm doing it at hundred and ten thousand miles on my car so you'll see the little green pin here as I pull it out you'll see this thing is going to shoot out a little bit not too much as you push the button back in you'll see that the orange thing is going to go back up and it's going to match right where that hole is so this is essentially what you're doing when you're replacing it what you're doing is you're going to turn counterclockwise the crank shaft pulley it's a 19 millimeter bolt you're going to Turn it counterclockwise. As you do that, you will see the orange pin go up. You stick the green pin in there to hold it in place, and then you lock it so that when you remove it, you don't it doesn't get stuck or it's not extended inside. So this is the pulley for the crankshaft, it's a 19 millimeter bolt. When you put in your socket and you you turn it with a wrench counterclockwise you will see that orange pin that I was showing you earlier or the orange piece is going to go up and it's going to match a little hole you put your push pin in there to lock it in place and then you turn it back clockwise to lock it after that pull out your socket you're good I purchased mine from Delray Acura online I live in Southern California. I've been ordering from them for a couple of years. It just, it's easy for me because I pay with PayPal. The part isn't very expensive. Um, it'll be about 75 plus shipping. So, if you need to change it, if you're at 110, you never changed it. Or if you're after 110 and you never changed it, you might want to consider doing this. It's not super hard. Probably the most tedious thing is getting those bolts to come off the plate, the covering plate. Those are 10 millimeter bolts and the reason why those are a little challenging to get out is because you have a very small space in there. So I had to use my one quarter inch um, socket, my, the smallest socket that I have with the smallest, uh, I'll show you. This is the socket that I used. It's this is the amount of space, just enough to actually crack loose those 10 millimeter bolts. After you crack them loose, as you pull them out, this is going to push into the frame of the car, so it's going to get stuck. So what you do is you just crack them loose, and by hand you start taking them out. The optional thing is to use um, combination wrench and you know you'll definitely be able to fit that in there if you're having a hard time getting it out this is the rtv that you'll need in order to create that liquid gasket back into the cover plate i bought it on amazon it's honda bond go for the original don't go cheap if you're doing this go all out use honda oem for the actual part itself and for this 
as well, the liquid sealant. 